Here we go, guys. We're in Hunt Ridge Park. It's about quarter to 12 on a Monday, and you can see that there have the sprinklers going on, and you know that they do this. This is, they do this all the time. It's a system to harass the homeless. Uh, they're doing it right where we're feeding to make sure that people can enjoy. This park closes, uh, unlike all the other parks that close at uh, seven or eight or nine o'clock. This park closes at five o'clock in the afternoon, which is so many hours. You could see where they, uh, they just went and it's freezing out today. It's one of the coldest days uh, that we're, we had. And you can see, here, let me show you. Let me show, let me show you what happened to her with somebody who is, who is sitting in the park laying. Look at this. Hey, hey man, look at it. Yeah, you can see they got all the, all the stuff. They got all the stuff wet here. This is a systematic harassment of the people of our community and the people that we serve. You could see this is not a usual thing. They do this whenever they try to force people out of the park. The park is open to the public. They open, I think, at eight and close at five. So there's plenty of time to water after. But you could see, look at, look at the, and look at the amount of water, it's puddling. It's puddling, so they're wasting, wasting water. You can see how they're going down. So they got our table where we normally serve, we can dry it off, we'll not be deterred. But, let me show you, let me show you how they're abusing the people, freezing them out. Freezing them out, this is a death sentence for somebody who doesn't have shelter, to be wet, hypothermia can set in, it'll lower your body temperature, being wet will make you sick. So they're causing illness, This is just cruel and unusual. This is cruel and unusual. Look, you can see the sprinklers going during the day. This park is open to the public. There's no reason for them to be watering during the day when people are supposed to be enjoying this park. I'm gonna call this out. Look. They got it so it's spraying underneath the shelters. And what? There you go, guys. And we're going to be serving in a few minutes, so if you guys want to eat, come on by. Yeah. So now that we have this documented, once again, the city's concerted effort to drive out the underprivileged and the people that need to be served the most. They pick on people who are least able to defend themselves and stand up through this goddamn harassment. It's disgusting and despicable. They should be ashamed of themselves for their egregious behavior. These are the biggest bunch of low lives I've ever seen. To do this is inhumane. So, now we document that we'll make complaints to the city, we'll make a complaint to the Parks Department, and we'll try to get this stopped. You people also write in, anybody who's watching this, let them know that they can't do this. This is, this is the horrible behavior. I've never seen anything so cruel to do to another human being, especially when it's cold and windy out. Thanks everybody who's been posting these videos and sharing it. Just found out this has been three uninterrupted hours of the systematic abuse of the people and the use of a public space. You can see, here we go, they're still doing it. They still got these sprinklers going. It's flooding the areas. Look at this. And we got pigs right across the street watching. We got reports that the people in the park complained to the marshals, the marshals said they were to come and stop it. That was three hours of this shit. So, here we're gonna go, we're gonna go see what we can do here. You can see, I think, the thing behind me, all these people's clothing, blankets, 
all their goods are soaking wet. It's cold and rainy out. Look at this. They're making it rain all over the people, man. On one of the coldest days, they're just flooding this area. How is this acceptable to anyone? Anybody who has a conscience, you get on there, you share this video, you call the Parks Department, you tell them, shut off these sprinklers at Hunt Ridge Park. They think they're gonna deter us, they're absolutely wrong. This does nothing but make me feel more solid in my belief that what we're doing is correct and the moral thing to do. They will not stop what we are doing. They will not cower us in any way. They will not make us fear. They could come and threaten us. They could come and try to intimidate us. They could try to soak us out with water. But it will not work. It just makes us more steadfast in what we are doing. I am more committed now than ever before to make sure that the people in my community are being fed. So here, I'll show this around. We'll turn it around and let the people see. Here, right here, we got the police. Sitting right here watching this. You can see them sitting right across the street. Watching everybody's goods and blankets get wet. Don't care. Partners of the community, it says on their vehicle. For partners like this, man, you don't need any enemies. These are the enemies of the people. They sit there, calluses can be watching this go on. Disgusting, despicable behavior. Yeah, run away. That's, that's what they're doing. Now that they see that they're on camera, they're going to pull away. Hopefully they'll be shamed by their behavior. Shameful what they're doing. Hey, we are back at the park we're doing another update so what we have here is uh, the starvation army is out here offering assistance now if you were a conspiracy person you would say look at this what they did is they got everybody out here turned on the sprinklers wet down all their equipment made them cold and miserable so that they could come out here and force their services on people so they have really no choice but to accept what they're doing it is pretty friggin slow I'm saying it's quite a coincidence because I don't see these guys out here too often. And I don't know, mighty big coincidence that they turn on the water, soak everybody, and these guys show up. And of course, I'm out here three, four days a week. I'm out here by myself, sometimes with one other person. Yet these guys claiming to do good works need a police escort, which you can see right here in the background. Let's see how we can. So you can see there's police escorts there. Um, the marshal. Uh, Agency is here also wandering around but um, Just to let you guys know what's happening So you can see we're still over there serving we didn't never stop serving the people and uh, Just figured you'd like an update on what's happening now And I thought it was pretty interesting that these guys show up at this time maybe over at Mulaski Park last year when they went in and they took all their blankets and tents and took all their goods and threw them out with nothing on the coldest day of the year. They should have maybe brought these guys down too. I think they promised to, but uh, none of the social service agencies just uh, showed up for that event. They just, just took all their stuff and left these people with nothing to freeze. Here at least, uh, they're coming and trying to hook them into going up with their agency. Remember, all power to the people, no power to the pigs or the park pigs. <laughs>